You're listening to the Wise Women Invest Podcast, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney. Wise Women Invest is on a mission to help 1 million women learn how to make smart money moves by becoming savvy investors in real estate, the stock market, cryptocurrency, and early stage businesses. Now your host, chief noisemaker and wise woman herself, Audrey Bell Kearney. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of Wise Women Invest. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, along with my co-host, Carolyn Shoemake. Good afternoon, Carolyn. Good afternoon. How are you today? Ooh, listen, I've been up talking since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm fine. I'm fine. How about yourself? You're good. I've been up talking since 9. So we are, we're we are both been talking a bit this morning. So yeah, yes. I'm, I'm doing great. Love talking about finances and helping people put their financial house in order so it's a great time to be doing that it is, it is but you know Karen, it's a little scary for some people because right now the markets are so volatile and people are a little bit afraid like what's going on am i going to lose all my money and so that's why today i wanted to talk about stock splits because you know last week amazon stock split and people were talking about it but i think that a lot of people still don't understand exactly what that means so i know that you know you are our in-house uh, financial advisor especially when it comes to stocks and so we want to, i want to talk about what does that mean when a stock split so i'm going to pull up amazon um just a picture of what their stocks are looking like right now. So just give me one second okay. as I make that happen. Okay, I thought I was gonna make it happen. What I do with it? And while you're making it happen, let me just say for our for our listeners that the market is doing a lot of things right now. If you're already investing, you want to stay there. Yeah, you know, just keep investing, keep doing what you're doing because the market it has just shown in all the histories of the market. There are times when it's up and there are times when it when it's down. You want to be a systematic, continually investing and um, and allow your money, give your money time to work for you. Because everything that's happening, just think about a real simple example like gas. Gas goes up and then it goes back down. Okay, so that's life. That's the world we live in. The market is going to go up and it's going to go go down. You know, so I'll, you're not putting all of the money that you have in the market anyway. So we want to make sure that you're diversified, but don't don't grow weary. Um, don't be um, scared. Just continue to invest on a regular basis. And so now, see, you have that up, Audrey. That's great. I do. So, you know, Amazon stock split. And I think a lot of people, especially people who don't really understand what that means. I have a friend. She has a huge portfolio, right, that she doesn't know anything about and so she calls me she asks me questions i'm like okay you need to do this check this do this check that but people have money that they have sitting in brokerage accounts and they just let it sit there and they don't know what's happening from one minute to the next i wanted to talk about amazon because i have amazon stock i'm sure you probably have amazon <laughs> listen i need amazon stock as much money as i spend at amazon um so i have amazon stock and so do you probably can you explain to people what does it mean when a stock splits I sure will. And and let me just do this too. Audrey. You know, I love to tell stories and, yes. and to help people really understand something. So remember we talked last week, we talked about it a little bit. We talked about how um, during the pandemic, a lot of people were sitting at home ordering stuff from Amazon, right? And so Amazon continued to grow, continued to grow. And um, Amazon's share price before the split was $2,447. So if you wanted to buy a share of Amazon, you needed at least $2,000 to buy one share. Well, you need $2,400 to buy one share. Now, just thinking from a from a, a, a regular person, let's say a person who has no idea the market or anything, and they say, I want to buy some stock. The average Joe, what do you think he's going to say if he looks and sees that Amazon stock is $2,447 a share? What do you I think? I have $2,400 and put in those stocks. That's exactly what they're going to say. <laughs> That's what they're going to say, especially when they figure out that it's only going to give them one share. That's one share. So what happens in a stock split is the board of directors, let me, let me, let me do this before I talk about that. Let me ask you this question. Well, let me say this in a stock split, a, the board of directors decide 
that they're going to do the stock split that they're going to give and that's for the it's really for the current shareholders but that's a benefit for people who are not as well so here's a really quick easy example for you to understand what a stock split is audrey let's say i told you that i have um you tell me you have a hundred dollar bill and i tell you that i have two fifty dollar bills and i say audrey let me trade my two fifty dollars for your hundred dollar bill did you still get the same money the same exact amount the same exact amount so when a, a stock split is when the board of directors of the company decide that there's going to be a they're going to increase the number of shares that are outstanding so anyone who had uh one share of amazon that split is called a 20 for one mm -hmm. so so now when you see the share price for amazon at 122 before the 122 it was 2400 so everybody who owned a share of amazon now got 20 shares for that I one share. Okay. Does, does that make sense to you really yeah they now own so it, so that's the 21 so oh no i didn't know that i thought when it split it split down the middle like if i had one share now i got 250 dollars no, no no it's be, it's it's because their share price was so high if you owned one share of amazon you now own 20 shares and the value doesn't change you follow so nothing has happened to the value of amazon nothing has happened to the value of your stock you just have more stock for the money that you have the money that you spent make sense and okay. one of the reasons they do the stock split is to one they want to make it more attractive to people who may want to buy shares because at you just said earlier at two thousand four hundred dollars per share a lot of regular people can't afford to buy one share of amazon if they if they spent a hundred dollars it's a smaller smidgen because you can't buy a fracture of a share you can buy a piece of it but you can't own a full full piece if you're not going to take two twenty four hundred dollars and put it in there you follow and so when they allow the share price to go up so high then companies make that decision to let the stock split and it does not change the capitalization or the value of the company it does not change the value of your portfolio the split does not do anything except give you more shares okay so what's the benefit of having more shares because I'm, I'm thinking so because i could get people who don't understand it could get excited i had one share i went to 20 shares and the shares the share price is 2400 so in my mind i'm thinking well if i have 20 shares that's 2400 times 20 so i'm at a whole another mindset but that's not how that works no mm -mm. okay it, no it takes the number it takes the total amount of shares that you own and just splits it you know if, if if it was two for one it would be half but this particular split because amazon stock was so high it was 20 for one in order for them to get down to 122 dollars which makes it more attractive for almost anyone who wants to now own amazon stock it's very attractive at 122 dollars a share it was mm -hmm. not as attractive for the average investor at two thousand four hundred dollars per share oh i get it so look guys i'm learning too like i'm not a stock person like that but i am learning so it was twenty four hundred dollars a share when they split a 21 now it's 122 dollars and 44 cents a share and, and that was at 1106 so just know it fluctuates so it's 1139 right now so 1106 it was 122 per share so if the price goes back up to two thousand dollars a share everybody with that 20 shares now that price becomes 20 times two thousand that is correct oh, that is correct that is nice correct. That share price goes as that share and, and even as it goes up you know if you pay 122.44 for it let's say it goes up to 500 dollars a share next you you made money yes because, but, but the difference is you now own 20 shares instead of one share so the value is going to go up per share 
than it than than it was when you actually had it. So so the stock split itself, just understand, there's no reason reason to panic. You haven't lost any money. That all they did was take the number of shares that you own and they split it and said, we're going to give you this number of shares for that same amount of money. That's that's all that is. And it and it's done really to make companies more attractive, to make it so because Amazon, Amazon was at a point where there were not a lot of new shareholders. Mm-hmm. You know, most people who own Amazon stock were people who bought it years ago or the very wealthy who could afford to pay $2,000, $2,400 per share. So they did not have a lot of new shareholders. And every public, public trade, public traded company wants to have a lot of shareholders. You follow? Because that increases, that increases their, their money and increases the value um, of, of the company as it goes up. But they want more. And so it wasn't as attractive because it was so expensive for the average Joe. Wow. So listen, I don't know if you just learned something, but I just learned something because I've heard stock splits before. I even worked in a company at one point where I handled portfolios for people um, when they were trying to sell their stock. So um, but I never I've never heard it explained that way before. So thank you for doing that. Now, how often do companies do stock splits? Do they do them often or just when they're trying to make sure they bring a new um, make it attractive for new uh, investors. They, um, it's it is it depends. I don't know, and I I didn't I don't know how many times um, Amazon has had a stock split. Um, I don't think it's been that often because that it has just climbed. They left it decline for such a long period of time, but they usually do it when they want to uh, make the make the company more attractive to make the shares um, more. Um, affordable affordable and affordable the only company that i can think of um and mainly because of the fact that um i was really paying attention to them but apple apple has had about i think five stock splits since i've owned that their own shares of that company they've had about five their most recent one was during the pandemic um they really? yeah apple had a stock split in august of 2020 in yeah. august when they had a stock split their their um their price was around six hundred dollars a share at the time and it went from six hundred a share to ninety two dollars how the heck did i miss that one and so uh i don't know but now that we're doing these we'll stay on top of this so that our our, cust- our customers our listeners can hear about this but um companies decide to do it on 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 um uh, i don't say i don't think it's very very routine because it doesn't happen often and when it does happen everybody's buzzing about it because it's not an everyday thing you know um for amazon to do this or for many companies to do this. i do know apple since around 19 well since the beginning they've they've done they've done about five and, and it's not every year you know it's every every couple of years every couple of years um but some companies do do it more than once so for the people who have, they have Amazon stock, but they have fractional shares in a mutual fund. How does a split work when it comes to a mutual fund? Is because it, it that's not a share. So how does that same work? Difference, same difference. They 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 get their fraction gets added on as well. So anyone who owned any part of of Amazon stock, um, whichever way you had it, whether you had half shares or full shares or one share or two shares, whatever number of shares you owned. The number of shares increased. The amount of money did not, but the number of shares. And I just want to make that very, very clear that that it didn't. Your your portfolio did not increase in value, uh, money monetar- monetarily. You simply have greater number of shares of Amazon stock. And and if Amazon continues to go as it's going, and people are still uh, have boxes coming to their house every day, and they're continuing to grow and grow and grow. Though that share price is going to go up. I see from what Audrey posted on the screen here that it's it was down on it's down this morning um, by 0.56. Um, but that's the stock market. It goes down a little bit and then it goes back up. But all all um, indication is that it's going to climb back up again. And kudos to all of our listeners who already have Amazon stock. Um, and if you don't have it, it's a great time. It's a great time to get a, a mutual fund that has Amazon stock in it. 
or if you have the money, um, buy it directly. Um, but I'm, I always recommend that, that people do, if you're schemish about the market and don't really understand, a mutual fund is a great way to go because Amazon would be one of the stocks inside the mutual fund. And then, of course, as those stocks go up, then your, your portfolio would increase in value. As Amazon stock goes up, your, your portfolio will increase in value. So what she's saying is get something, you know, I, you know, get something because Amazon is going to go back up because I'm, I'm probably going to buy something by the end of the week. <laughs> so <laughs> I had a book came yesterday and I'm one of those type of people who still love books. Right. So I honestly just still I got so many books that I have not read that I just like, I need to get that book. So and I'm not the only one. Like I looked at my Amazon account and I, I give my daughter access to that account and she spent way more than me. She had like. All kind, I'm, so I have to clear my cart every time I go to buy a book because she has a bunch of stuff in my cart. So I have to clear the cart, put it safe for later for her. So Amazon is going to go back up. So make sure you guys have some shares in your portfolio. Um, when it comes to building a portfolio, there I've heard some. I heard somebody say last night while I was looking at a stock, not night before last, I was looking at a stock show. They was like, make sure you own Apple, make sure you own Amazon. I think it was Microsoft and something else. They named like five big ones, right? Make sure you own those. And so um, if you had to give advice on which which stock people should definitely have in their portfolio, what would they be? Because, you know, not everybody like Apple. <laughs> you know, they, they don't. Exactly. I Let me first say that I'm a big component of people investing in mutual funds where you have over 100, 100 companies that you're, you're investing in. And they're, they're so, there's so much diversification because you have companies from every single area of your life. There's grocery stores in there, there's clothing stores in there, there's auto companies in there, there's drug companies in there, there's gas companies in there, there's Apple in there, there's Amazon. So I'm a big proponent of folks investing in mutual funds and having that as a part of your portfolio because you've got a lot of different companies that you're investing in at the same time and you don't necessarily have that money where you have to go buy, you allocate money to go buy a certain number of shares of stock and just own that. So let me say that first, that I strongly believe in mutual funds. Number two, there's an acronym that I think I shared with this um, a couple of weeks ago, and it's called FANG. Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. Now, Netflix... Uh, Google, Apple, those are all kind of like computerish, um, you know, um, uh, industry type mm -hmm. companies. Yeah, tech companies. And then there's, um, there's of course, Amazon, which is consumer goods. Um, you want to look at Warren Buffett, who you guys know is one of the wealthiest men in, in, in the world, um, next to um, Elon Musk. But um, Warren Buffett always said that when you're building your portfolio, you should build it from companies that have been around for years. They have track record, but not just a track record, but they're companies that you personally go to and spend your money. Companies like, and, and when you think about these companies, and, and also companies that are on everybody's tongue, that everybody's using, um, Amazon is one of them. The whole world is using Amazon, the whole world. Um, Apple revolutionized the technology world with their phones and their iPads and, and their MacBooks and all of that. The whole world went from a, um, a, a computer world to a device and to Apple. And so they revolutionized and changed the technology industry. So that's the company that you want. Coca-Cola. Many people don't even think about that anymore, but how many people... To, to this very day when they order food, and I have a Coke with that, and I'll have a Coke, you know, Coca-Cola um, talks about in, th in terms of um, consumer goods, Walmart, a company that's been around for years that's going to continue. Walmart changed, and Walmart is changing its, its, its way as well because it realizes that during the pandemic, so many people didn't come to the store. And so they started doing more online um, oh, wow. Somebody just said Apple split again last week. So um, they're talking about more um, online um, um, servicing, on, online buying. So Walmart would be a company that you may go to all the time. 
So he talked about always making sure um, that you invest in the companies that you go and spend your money in. Think about your favorite restaurant or think about a restaurant that is growing all has grown all over the nation, all overseas, and that's McDonald's. You know, we don't think about that a lot, but McDonald's is a is a, a restaurant. No matter what, they started off with, with a burger, a fry, and a coke. Okay, so and now they have all this other stuff that they've added to the menu, but they still have the basic. And it's a company that's been growing for for years, you know, ever since Ray Kroc and been at McDonald's. And so that's a company that is staple. There's McDonald's on every other corner. You know, there's McDonald's and all, all overseas. You, can, you know, it's amazing when you go to another country and you see a McDonald's. You follow? So that's a company that's growing international. So you're looking for companies that you personally spend your money at, companies that have some longevity, some track record that you've been to, companies that you see other people go to. Maybe you're not a Walmart person, but I guarantee you that you've passed by Walmart and looked and saw all those cars and went, hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Why are all those people at Walmart? So um, I hope that answered your question, Audrey, that you really want to build it with, with companies with longevity, companies that you personally go spend your money at, companies that your friends go spend their money at, and, um, and also look for companies that pay dividends. Yeah, that's a great that's a great uh, answer, Carolyn, because I think a lot of times people don't know what to invest in. And for me, I know where I spend my money. at, So I'm trying to invest in those companies. And I want to say something about Coke. Let me tell you all something about Coke. Coke is not going anywhere. Coke, there are restaurants in Georgia. If you're if you're in the state of Georgia, you can go to certain restaurants and you can only get Coke products. That is it. You can't have anything. You can't have a Pepsi. It's not going to happen. And when I first when I first realized that, I was like, why don't they sell Pepsi? Well, probably because Coke has a contract with them that you only sell our products exclusively. So they're not going anywhere. And, and that's one of those that, that's one of those companies you can go anywhere around the world and see a Coke can. It's going to look the same. It's going to taste the same. And you're going to recognize it because you know the brand. I saw I saw a documentary about Africa. And one of the things they were doing, Carolyn, they were unloading trucks and trucks of Coke in Africa. It was crazy. So that's one of those stocks that you definitely want to have in your portfolio because they have been here a long time and they're not going anywhere. You know, it, they're just not people like Coke. Coke changed the taste one time and they were pissed off until they changed it back. So they're not going anywhere. Um, so we're going to wrap. But I want to say this real quick. So Carolyn and I are going to be doing a, uh, a, a four hour boot camp in August. If you want to dive deep into learning how to invest, like really learning the ins and outs, I, I got to tell y'all something. I got introduced to investing in 1997. Um, I was working at Prudential Insurance Company and they sent me away for a minority weekend, a minority leadership weekend. When I went away for that weekend, they taught me how to read the, the, the Wall Street Journal because I had no idea what a ticket was. I had no idea how to read it. And they taught me how to read the Wall Street Journal. And I have been hooked on this type of stuff since 1997. It's nothing like being in a room with people and learning how to make your money grow. It really isn't, right? And there's so many ways for you to do that. The stock market is one way. Being a business owner. Been, can we never talk about that? But that is one of the best ways to grow your wealth, being a business owner. One yeah, maybe we'll, add that, maybe we'll add that on, on when we do the workshop. Yes, because you have to, you have to, I get it. You want to go to work. I can tell you right now, there are people right now sitting on the edge of their seats because they don't know if they're going to have a job. But here's the thing. If you had a business, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Now, I'm not going to front with y'all. I'm going to keep it real. Doing what we do is not easy, but it's really gratifying. Very That's true. It's really gratifying. So being an entrepreneur is not an easy thing to do. Because you have to give up a lot sometimes. And sometimes people don't want to give up anything. You got to give up that nail money. You got to give up your hair money. You got to give up your martinis on Friday night. Something you're going to have to give up, right? But it's, it just depends on how bad you want it. So we're going to be doing that workshop. I'm going to drop the link here. Um, it's going to be a hybrid. So it's going to be part uh, live stream and part in person. So we're going to, we'll give you the locations, but it's going to be here in Georgia. And the live stream is going to be live stream um, probably on Zoom. Um, so you'll be able to attend. We want you to come out and get this information and go back and, and and share it with your family and friends. We can only reach so many people, right? 
it's at it's 11 o'clock a lot of people haven't even gone on lunch yet so they're going to miss this broadcast however it is recorded so you can go back and watch it later but in the meantime figure out how to and we're going to talk about this calendar one day starting investment clubs because i think that's a really good thing to do and so um maybe after we do finish our, our boot camp in august We'll do a segment on how to start a really good investment club and, and what that needs to look like. I think we might need to do that before, but we'll see. We'll see. So any any last words before we before we say goodbye to next week? No, only the only that it's a great time for you to start investing in yourself. You know, a wise women and wise men invest in themselves. You have an opportunity to really change your life. And one of the ways you can invest in yourself is to tune in to these podcasts to where you can hear people sharing information that you need to keep um, for yourself. All right. So listen, guys, that's all we got. We will be back next Wednesday with another great episode. We were going to talk about the personalities for investing, but I had to talk about the stock split because it just happened. And Missy Shilly, shout out to you. Thank you for dropping in on us and sharing the fact that Apple split again last week. And the price for Apple right now is 150.49. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to get me some shares. I don't have any Apple, and which is not, which makes no sense because I have an iPad and an iPhone. Apple <laughs> is about to drop their 16 something. My daughter was telling me where you can erase the message if you send it to somebody. Yes. So that's going to go off the charts. And of course, people are going to run out of my Apple phones because one of the things I know for a fact, if you've ever sent the message that you did not mean to send, and you wish you could go back and delete that message, you soon will be able to do that. And what does that mean for Apple? That means that everybody who can't delete that message on the Samsung is going to get them an Apple. So that price is going to go back up. So be sure to, you know, follow Apple and see what they're doing. I'm not telling you to invest. I'm just saying follow. I'm going to get me some shots. So thanks, Missy, for sharing that. Um, listen, y'all stay safe out there calvin thank you again for co-hosting with me i love it i think we're doing a, a great thing here sharing with people how they can make their money grow. and listen this is only gonna get better y'all this is only i think our fourth or fifth i think fifth episode it's gonna get better because there's a lot we got to share with you guys that link right there go to that link right there and and sign up for our workshop coming up in august we're gonna be live and in person talking about everything investing stock mutual funds gas oil gold nfts crypto all of it you're gonna get it all your brain your head is gonna explode so um sign up for it all right thank you carolyn all right have a great day all right bye everybody we'll be back again next week until next time make it a great day now stay safe out there you've been listening to the wise women invest podcast tune in daily at 6 p.m for a new investment tip to help you make smart money moves to learn more about wise women invest and to join our community and investment club go to www.wisewomeninvest.club to never miss an episode of the podcast download the wise women invest app from the app store and be sure to share the show with another wise woman again our website is www dot wisewomeninvest dot club